In this tutorial I'm going to show you about the pmetrics model files. You only need two files to make pmetrics run to do an analysis. That's a model file and a data file. In the model file, there's a library at our website www.lapk.org. If you click on the software tab, you see pmetrics, learn more, there's a model library here. And if you sign in, you will have access to several basic models which you can download and use as templates for editing, create your own models. There's diagrams for each of the models here. And then you can download the files over here to the right. So let's, for example, start with a very simple model that has a Ka for absorption, a volume in compartment 2, and an elimination directly from compartment 2. And we'll download this model file with algebraic solutions. All of these files are simply text documents. It can be opened in any text editor. And here is the file. So the model files have 11 main blocks. Each block is delineated by a header that begins with a hash symbol followed by at least three letters. The names of the blocks are um, primary for the primary variables, covariates for any covariates that you may want to d define, secondary variables for any secondary relationships comprising primary variables and covariates or other secondary variables, a block that describes where bolus inputs are to go, another block for initial conditions, another block for bioavailability terms, lag terms, differential equations, outputs, an error block, and then extra coding. So in this simple example we'll start with these three blocks which are the minimum required number of blocks. Must have primary variables defined, outputs defined, and an error model. The primary block, all you need are the first three letters, would comprise of the named variables, in this case KE, plus your initial guesses as to the range where the values, the distribution of values in your population are going to lie. So it's the name with a comma, followed by the lower bound, comma, upper bound. So in this case I've specified KE as a variable with, I'm anticipating that the range will be between 0 and 5. V for volume, 0.01 to 100, and Ka, absorption rate constant, 0 to 5. If I wanted to fix a variable for a population value, let's say I wanted Ka to be fixed at 1, then I would simply specify one value. The next block in this model file is the output block, which is Fortran coding. In p-metrics, y's are outputs. So if you are only having, if you only have one output in your data file, i.e., you've measured, given one drug and measured its concentration, that would be y1. If you had two outputs, for example, you gave a drug and you measured the drug and its metabolite, the drug could be y1 and the metabolite could be y2. In this case, we're saying that the output, the concentration that we measured, is is y1 and it is a function of the amount in compartment 2, x is our amounts, divided by v, the volume of that compartment. Finally we have an error block and we'll go into more details on that in a moment. Now pmetrics looks at this model file and it recognizes that you have declared either primary or secondary, we don't have secondary in this case, primary variables that include a ke and a V at minimum. Because there are no differential equations supplied, pmetrics recognizes that you can solve this model algebraically 
and takes the appropriate action using an algebraic solver to, to fit the data rather than a differential equation solver. The five variables that must be specified in a p-matrix model if you wish to trigger algebraic solving are KE, V, KA, KCP, and KPC. If p-matrix finds those variable names in the model file in the absence of differential equations, it will attempt to solve the model algebraically. At minimum, you must specify KE and V in order to trigger this. If you don't specify KA, KCP, and KPC, that's OK. The, um, those values will be set to 0. OK, let's just recast this model with differential equations. We don't have to do this, but let's do it for uh, teaching purposes. So we want to make a diff block. And capitalization doesn't really matter. And this is going to be Fortran code that specifies your model. And you, again, there are examples on the website where you can download and see and compare between algebraic and differential equations. So in this case, XP1 is the Fortran code for DXT, DT for compartment 1, is equal to, we can specify again in terms of variables that have already been defined. So it would be minus Ka times the amount in compartment 1. And XP2 then would be the drug coming in from compartment 1 minus the drug leaving from compartment 2. This then would be a way that if we specified the model like this, it would see that there were differential equations and it would then try to solve the model using an ordinary differential equation solver. Again, of course, we don't have to do that in this case. Now, let's do something else. Let's put in some covariates. Let's say we have a covariate weight and maybe another covariate age. And let's define some secondary variables. We're going to call this KE0 now and V0. And let's say we wanted to scale our weight, our volume, to weight. So we would say V equals V0 times weight. And perhaps we had some kind of a relationship for KE such that KE equals KE0 times the exponential of um, some other para parameter. Let's call it um, um, theta1 times age. Now we haven't defined theta1 anywhere, so we would have to go back and say, OK, we want to put in and estimate the value for theta1, and maybe it goes between 0 and 2. Now again, because p-metrics is finding a ke and a v, and there are no differential equations, you can solve this algebraically, which is about 10,000 times faster than an ordinary differential equation solver. OK, so now we've talked about primary variables, covariates, secondary variables. There's a few other things you ought to know about covariate definitions. By default, covariates are linearly extrapolated between doses. So for example, if you have a weight specified at one dosing record in your data, the next dosing record does not have a weight, and then the third dosing record has a weight that is different from the first, a linearly extrapolated weight will be applied to the dose with the missing weight information. If you want to hold weight piecewise constant for some reason, any covariate can be made piecewise constant so that it is any missing values are equal to the previous value. You can hit an exclamation point and put that in. That defines it as a constant until a new value is uh, found. You can also make Fortran conditional statements, for example, on your, um, say, secondary variables. Now remember, these are variable declarations. They're not necessarily 
uh, the same as, as other equations. So as a variable declaration, for example, let's say that was my Ke, but maybe uh, if my age was greater than 20, I just fixed Ke to a certain value. So perhaps um, then, because it's a variable declaration, you just need to add a plus and say, if age greater than or equal to 18, then Ke equals 20, we'll say. So this will define Ke to be 20 if your age is greater than or equal to 18. You need to have the plus here, though, because these are variable declarations, and Fortran is looking for these uh, declaration statements here, and it will ignore this in the declaration statement because Ke is already defined above. You don't have to have pluses in other blocks. You can if you want it. Well, Pmetrics will ignore them. Okay, uh, what about some of the other blocks? Bolus inputs. For example, if you have uh, input in your data file that has a duration of infusion of zero, that means that it's going to be treated as a bolus, and you can define what compartment in your model you want the bolus to go into. And you can make a bolus block, and you can say n bolus 1 equals 1, for example. This is the default. So this would be the bolus for any input 1 would go into compartment 1, or perhaps into compartment 2. Just define, depends on what you wish. For initial conditions, if they're not 0, you can make another block, any, for initial. And let's say we want compartment 2 to start out being equal to um, a new covariate that is in our file called IC2 for initial condition 2. So then IC2. Again, capitalization doesn't matter. So X2 is equal to IC2. Or maybe it's equal to um, you want to actually fit that. So maybe we'll move that up into a primary variable. And now we've got to give it a range. So maybe it's now broader. Let's put it up to 1000. And now this would actually become a fitted value. OK, bioavailability terms can be defined too. So that, that's F for bioavailability. And FA1, fraction available for drug 1, is equal to, uh, let's call it FA1. So in here, we want to define a new parameter FA1, and we'll make it range between 0 and 1. For my lag time, similarly, lag, the T lag for drug 1 is equal to T lag 1, which is now a new primary variable. Maybe we want that between 0 and 2 hours. If we had a second drug input, maybe it would then be T lag 2 equals, and let's just fix this at 3 hours. We've already gone over differential equations and outputs. Uh, error model, a little bit more detail now. If you are specifying a gamma model, you would use a g as your first line, g equals. And let's say we want to start off with a value of 4 and then estimate it from there. If we want to fix it at 4, we can put an exclamation point, just like in the covariates, to fix them. And then the next line, or lines, are the assay error polynomials for each output. If you only have one output, one line. Two outputs, you would need two separate lines, even if they're the same values as the second line. For NPEG only, you also have the choice of a lambda model. And you can have it um, begin at a certain value, L equals 4, or maybe L equals 0 0.1, and then be estimated. You can't fix lambda currently in NPEG. So an uh, exclamation point would be meaningless. And then finally, there is the possibility for advanced users of an extra block. You don't need the RA, but just extra. And this would be naked Fortran code, a subroutine, for example, if you had a custom Fortran subroutine. 
Everything is detailed for you, both in the user manual and on our website at www.lapk.org slash modeltemp.php.